Hello, my name is Godwin Mabin. I'm a fellow at Synopsys, uh, primarily focused on working on low power technologies. As you all know, with the increase in power management complexity in chip design, the need for UPF has quadrupled over the years. Complexity of UPF has grown from few hundred lines to thousands of lines. I've seen up to a million lines of UPF being uh, written, which explains the complexity of the power technology that's being used. Typical UPF development process in any chip design houses involves using custom developed utilities to generate complex UPF from high level specification, which could be from a Microsoft Word document. These customized utilities focus more on language, syntax, semantics, and lack the understanding of the tools in the flow. This leads to many, many iterations across the flow to get a common UPF. UPF generated or designed need to work across all phases of a typical RTL to GDS flow, which includes RTL design, implementation, verification, and sign off. We cannot afford to have multiple UPF for different aspects of the flow. For example, sign off one UPF versus RTL one UPF. To resolve this complex UPF generation process, we are introducing a new tool called Wordy UPF Architect, which understands high level power intent through CSV or JSON format and generates UPF, which will work across the design flow. Wordy UPF Architect can automatically generate UPF uh, by taking a high-level power intent through CSV format. It can also optimize UPF based on its understanding of the overall SOC and the tools across the flow. One of the typical requirement for any design is budgeting. UPF Architect can budget the UPF for each sub-blocks and generate IP-level UPF from a top-level intent. UPF Architect can also convert an existing legacy UPF back to high-level format such as CSV so that the intent is all maintained in one place. Overall, UPF Architect improvises, improvises the productivity of Power Architect by letting him focus on architecture rather than the syntax and semantics of a standard language. If you want to understand more about the UPF Architect, please visit the link provided on the screen.